Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and welcome to my craft room. We're going to do some stamping tonight. And I'm just getting my computer set up. Seeing what's going on in here. Okay. It's running. Good. Oh, and there's people coming on. So now I just have to go over here and so I can see the comments because they don't show up where I am there. It says I'm live. Woohoo! I am live. Hello, Holly. Hi, Yvonne. Oh, I'm so glad you could join me. I'm sorry this take this part takes so long. I should actually go live a couple of minutes ahead of time. Oh, I don't like seeing me in there. <laughs> I don't want to watch myself. Okay. Got it now. I'm just going to make this part. Oops. No, I don't want to listen to me. There. Okay, I'm just going to make me a little smaller because you don't need to really see me right there we go all righty dudes how are we doing tonight people oh what a what a busy day it's been we have two children in the house with us and we're going to be trying to figure out tomorrow what to do with them if it's pouring rain. That could be fun. All right. Just going to make that a little bit smaller and put it right there. Okay, now I'm watching in real time. So thanks so much for joining me tonight. I hope you've had a good day despite the not so great weather where we live. Hopefully it's been a little better where you are. I'm going to be making this card tonight. It uses the Inspiring Canopy Dyes and Beauty of Friendship bundle. Um, it's a card I made for a swap I was in. And it uses, it uses the... Um, What's it called? Beauty of the Earth designer paper. And if you look, I even put a little sun in behind the tree. Yeah, so there we go. Oh, the inside. This is what the inside says. Friendship refreshes the soul. Isn't that the truth? And boy, oh boy, do we ever need our soul refreshing now. Good news from... Provincial government and Dr. Bonnie, everything is proceeding on schedule and they figure by September we will be a lot further ahead of where we are now. So definitely in-person stuff is going to start happening in bulk in September. I won't be limited to having just three or four people in my studio. So I'm thinking how I can how I can have a stamping party. I think we should have a stamping party in September. We'll make a few cards. We'll have some goodies and it'll be virtual. So we can all do it at home. I'm still thinking. Okay, pear pizzazz is the color of the day. And a piece of Whisper White for the inside. Um, that's five and a quarter by four. A piece of Evening Evergreen for the front. That is five and a quarter by four. And a piece of white for the front. That is five by three and three quarters. And I'm going to do some sponging and stuff on that. Then I have a piece of... Um, soft suede that's five and a half by four and a quarter to do the trees. And I'm going to put some... Um, adhesive sheet on that. Then I have another piece of pear pizzazz that's one by five and a half to, and I'm going to make the 
what's that called? The hills at the bottom. This piece is one and three quarters by two and a half and it's Beauty of the Earth designer paper to cut out the shrub. And I have some rainbow glimmer paper to do the birds. And I have some pale papaya to do the, the sun and a piece of whisper white that or basic white that is three quarters by two and three quarters. Well, it's a little bit bigger because that's the size of scrap I had. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do. So did did you guys get to do some stamping today? It wasn't exactly gardening weather today. So to put these adhesive sheets on, now these are the old ones, but the new ones are pretty much the same. You kind of peel back the liner partially and don't get your fingers on that or you'll take all the sticky off of it. And then I line it up on the edge and I always cut mine one eighth of an inch smaller than the cardstock. So this cardstock is um, five and a half by four and a quarter. So I've cut the, the uh, adhesive sheet five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And then I stick it on there and hold it, lift this up and peel the backing off as I move towards the right hand side. And it just lays down nice and soft on the cardstock like that. Okay. Now get my magnetic platform out here. Put the cardstock on that and we're and I'm going to get put the stamps out of the way first of all. So Beauty of Friendship stamp set and the beautiful trees dies. This is the one that comes in the bundle. And there's the sentiment die that I'm going to use and the birds. They're both in there. And then the inspiring canopy dies. I don't have the stamp set for this. I just got the dies, but it does have a stamp set with a bunch of sentiments on it. And I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to put this on here. And there's a bit of room to play, but I want to put it right on this edge because I want and move it over a bit because I want there to be a bit of room there and I've made it bigger than I actually need so it'll be a little easier than making it too small. So now this is going to run through my machine but I'm turning it upside down. So I have the cutting edge up and the cardstock sitting on top of that. Uh, and I go slow. And then because it's got adhesive sheet on the back of it, I'm going to run it back through. It just helps to the, the thickness of the adhesive sheet. So we'll just take these pieces off. And I'm going to use my take your pick tool. And I like to hold it up on one end and push with the take your pick tool like this. It releases the cardstock and takes out most of the pieces at the same time. And then just pop that off. Pop that off. There we go. <laughs> Apparently my fingers weren't working properly. Okay, so that's, I'll put that away. So it's out of the way. Get rid of all these little itty bitty pieces. Now the rest of those, you can either pop out now or they should pop out when I pull the backing off. But I'll just do that. Okay, so that's that piece. Now, that's the envelope, the inside. This piece, I need to cut the hill. So here's the hill. So you could use it either way. And the way I figured out how I want to use it is I want to show this little bit of a hump that's in the in with the trees. 
So I put my die on here like this, and that's how I'm going to run it through. Okay, so now I'm going to remove that, but I'm going to move that up to the top because I can always cut the excess off at the bottom. And I'm just going to tape that in place. And then I'm just going to take my trees again, put them on here and make sure that that's where it, I want it. And no, it's not. I want to move it over a little bit more this way. And that's better. I want to be able to see that hump in there because I like that hump. Okay, so put that there. And then at the same time, I will die cut. Now, which ones did I use? I think I used this one. Yeah. So these are um, just leaves. That one. This one, yeah, so I'm going to put those on there like that. And I probably should put adhesive sheet on the back of that as well, but I didn't get it out, so I'm not going to take the time. It doesn't take much to stick some um, adhesive on that. Now I'm going to cut out two birds, and it's one on top of each other, so this is rainbow glimmer paper, so wherever you put it is good. Whatever color flowers you want. And I need a moon or a sun or whatever you want to call it. So we'll put that on there too. Okay, now run that through my machine. There we are. pieces off. So now we have our hill. And if you do it in the middle of the paper, if you make your paper a little bit wider, do it in the middle of the paper, you'll actually have two hills because it makes a nice edge on both sides. So this is not like a one off thing. Unless you're like me and don't put it in the middle. Then there's an issue. Okay, and then we have some bush. I'm just going to pop that out. Like that. And this one. Really handy tool, this take your pick tool. There, and now we have our sun and the birds. Pop them out of the die. Put the die away so I don't lose it. There we go. So we got all of our pieces now. We have the, the tree and the sun and the birds and the hill and the bushes. The only thing I haven't done is the stamp the sentiment and I haven't stamped it yet. So I'm going to now put all of this stuff to the side because I'm going to get my blending brushes out and blend the background. My dirty paper out. There we go. Now, it's just very light. I have Pool Party at the top and Pear Pizzazz at the bottom. So we'll start with the Pool Party. Find my blue brush. That's my green brush. Not that I can't use it, but, you know, when you're OCD, you need to pay attention to these things. And I'm just going to do a little bit of coloring kind of like ombre-ing it, starting at the top and just working my way down. 
and I'm starting off the paper because I want this to be really soft. I don't want any harsh bits in there. And the slower you go and the more layers you put on, the softer your blending is. And now I'm going to do it in a circle because that adds ink onto the edges. And I like that look of inky edges. There. So there's the there's the blue. And we'll put some hair pizzazz on the bottom part. And I'm going to do exactly the same way. Just add a little bit of so when you were kids, did you ever hear the saying, blue and green should never been seen even in a washing machine? I don't know where that saying came from, but every time I go to use blue and green on a piece of cardstock or on a card, that pops into my head. It's the weirdest thing. Oh, well. So are you guys still hearing me over there? Or seeing me? I don't know. There hasn't been much, much action tonight. Okay. Now, the trees. The trees go on next. And they're going to hang off a bit. Now, I don't want to put the... I don't want to layer it onto the um, evening evergreen just yet. Because I'm going to cut... I'm going to cut them so they... Are at the edge of the white but I just want to make sure that this is not going to go too far past the edge so that's about where they need to go and then I'm going to put the the hill over top now which one shall I use that one there we go and see you get some of the hill in the background it's really cool okay Slowly peel this off, and hopefully all the rest of the little pieces will come with it. It's got one hanging out right there. One, there we go. Okay. Now I'm going to going to temporary put a little bit of temporary tape on the back back of that to hold it in place while I put the trees and stuff on it just so I can lift it up again and trim the edges. So there we go. There's the tree it's right about there. Now, I've recently learned, get your stuff on like that. And when you have adhesive sheets, then take your block, go over top of it like this, and it burnishes everything onto your cardstock. Pretty cool, eh? Who thinks up this stuff? I tell you. There we go. So that's that. Now, now's the time to figure out which hill I want to use. So that one's going to leave a little bit of brown hanging off that edge. Or I can use this one. And I think I'll use that one because I like that a little bit better. This one just needs adhesive on it because it's going right over the top. So I hope everything is okay. I haven't had any feedback from anybody yet to what's going on, but that's okay. Hey, I'm going to put this on here. And I'm not worried about um, where I'm putting it on because I'm going to cut the excess off. I just want to make sure that I show a little bit of that hump, but not too much. And because I'm going to cut it off, I can kind of put it wherever I see. I can move it wherever I want. I just want to make sure that it's over on that side. Okay, down a little bit more. There we go. All right. Now we'll peel that off the night of 
for the early ever evening evergreen. And I'm going to take my scissors and just cut off all that excess that we don't need. And it's easy to cut because you just follow the, the white, the edge of the white. Oh, I think it's time to clean my scissors. I haven't showed you guys how to clean your scissors in a while, so we'll do that because I've got ink all over them or adhesive all over them. There we go. And then we'll just slice up here and cut that. Then when I turn it over, see how nice and clean that is? Now I've got adhesive on my scissors and there's a really easy way to take adhesive. If you get one of these adhesive removers, they are, sorry, I've just, um, at the dollar store and just like this on your, oh, and I'm not seeing the comments and I forgot the sun. Thank you. So it's a good thing I looked at my messenger because apparently, I don't know why it's not showing me the, the comments. Okay, let me refresh my computer and I will put the sun in. Thank you. So I'm just cleaning my scissors. Just take your, um, the dollar store glue eraser and just like this and it takes them clean and there's no residue because you're not using isn't that weird I'm still not seeing the comments okay I'm going to close that and I'm going to start all over again oh my goodness Facebook is acting up tonight, apparently. Let's go. I'm just, while you're looking at my partially made card and wondering how I'm ever going to get that sun underneath there because I didn't stick it in there. But you know what? I didn't put it in there in the original one either. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know what's up with Facebook. Oh, Okay, there is, oh my gosh, there's 28 comments that I'm not seeing. Why can't I see comments? That's not nice, Facebook. You need to show me the comments. Okay, so while that's deciding that it's going to do what I asked it to do, I'm just going to take my pokey tool and just lift this tree up. And I know how to do this because I didn't I didn't put the tree in the original one either. Stop talking, woman. Oh my gosh, look at all those comments I've been missing. It goes blurry, okay. So we have Valerie and Holly. Clip the hedge, for bins of laurel leaves, winter scenes. Yeah, I want to make a Christmas card with this. I want to make a Christmas card. Wouldn't that be awesome to have white trees and a blue background? Oh, good idea, Valerie. Yes, you could use reds and oranges and make a pile of raked up leaves off for Halloween. No, I can't see your comments, but I can now. That is ever weird, eh? Yes. Okay, so I've seen your comments. We're so entertaining. You are entertaining. I miss you guys. You know, when, when you're not commenting, it makes it very frustrating for me because then I have to talk to myself. See, there's the, there's the sun. And I didn't even put adhesive on the back of it, and I'm not taking it out again because the trees will hold it in place. Okay, so I can see your comments now, I hope. Can somebody comment something um, so that I know 
that you can that I can see your comments and it's not just something weird. Okay. So now I'm going to put this on to uh oh just about out of adhesive. Good thing I have a spare. I'm gonna put this onto the er, evening evergreen. No, I can't if you're commenting, I still can't see your comments. Let's see if that helps. I keep clicking different buttons to see if it's going to help me see the comments. I guess I should just be happy that Facebook is letting me go live because a lot of strange things have been happening with Facebook lately. And Mark Zuckerberg ha Berg has decided he needs to make more money off of Facebook. He's going to start charging for some things. Of course, because he's got so many billions, you don't, he doesn't need to have any more money. Why is he taking it out of our pockets? Okay. I'm still trying to see the comments. Still trying to see the comments. It says there's been 45 comments and I'm not seeing any of them. Okay. So my apologies, ladies. I don't know why I can't see your comments. Let me go um, try something viewing it a different way. Okay. I'm seeing some of them now. Let's see if I can see all of them. I can see your comment now, Norma, and I don't know what Terry's talking about with Val, but I'll go back because it won't let me scroll back to see past ones. Thanks, Carmen. And oh my God, Christmas card, absolutely. Hey, it's the adhesive sheets. They hold like cement, but they let you, they let you lift it up. I think I forgot to, did I forget the string? Cause I put some string on there. Let me get my bits. I don't want to lose my bits. No string, no linen thread, unless it's somewhere and I can't see it. Okay, I'm going to get linen thread because it just needs something, something, you know? It needs a little something, something. Oh, good, Donna, I can see your comment. Yay. Okay, so I need about 18 inches of this. Right, 18 inches? Well, that's not 18 inches. Let's see how much I can, how much I need about there. That's probably 18 inches. Sure, that looks good. Okay, get myself organized here again. Put a little bit of adhesive back here to hold the. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. Where's the top and where's the bottom? There we are. I never should have done this live tonight. I was in a hurry because I was playing cards with the grandchildren and having dinner. And now everything is going wrong with my card. Okay, let's get the silicone mat before I stick it to my table. And I want it somewhere around there. Let's see if that's going to work. Sure. We'll just tie a little bow. Well, that worked. Ooh, well, apparently I'm not bow challenged tonight except it's upside down. Oh, good Lord, really? Here I was so excited because my bow was working and now it's upside down. Okay, we need to... 
I need to figure out how to turn it around. Okay, so I know there's more comments coming in, but I'm not seeing them. How, how terrible is that? Okay, we'll just leave it like that. Now, this is going to go on to the card base. And I'm just going to get a little bit of um, tear and tape to put over top of that string to hold it in place like that. Okay. I refresh. Hopefully I can see the comments. <laughs> oh, yes. I am good at fixing mistakes. Definitely. Okay, I'm going to take the that off. I had to go grocery shopping today. It was awful. You'd think I would smarten up and order my stuff online. So I don't have to go and do it, but then you never come home with those really cool snack things, you know, when you order online. Okay. This uh, bow is bothering me because it's not the right way up and it's twisted and it's crooked. I might have to retie it. I knew it was too good to be true that it would work the first time. So I'm going to retie it because I didn't like it. And I have time. Uh oh. I just heard a I just heard a really loud laugh from our uh, dining room where they're playing cards. So apparently somebody just Whooped Grandpa in cards again. Poor Grandpa. He always loses. Yeah, so we have possession of the grandchildren this weekend. Oh, now it's not tight enough. Ah! Okay, I'm, I'm going, I'm moving on. So we have possession of the grandchildren this weekend because the grandpuppies have gone to be spayed. So I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to put this one on top of it to make it look like a little bush there. I like snack things too, unfortunately. Okay, I'm just going to put some glue dots on the leaves. There's one. Teaching moment. <laughs> Yeah. Do what I say, not what I do. And if you screw up, this is how you fix it. I lost my lid. There it is. This is how you fix it. Because I'm really good at fixing screw ups. Okay. Well, I'm going to tighten this. Put that right over top of it, like that. Hold it down till the glue grabs. Oh, cheesies. Valerie, you and your cheesies. Uh-oh. It's not working. My nose is itchy. I'm pushing it down. Cheesies are my fave, too. Chicago mixed popcorn. Oh, peanut butter and brown sugar on toast. Oh, Terry, that sounds amazing. And yes, Valerie, you're right. Hawkins. All the way, Hawkins, except when I was pregnant. Then I wanted those cheese bop things. Oh, Holly. <laughs> Isn't it nice that we do this at night when we're not going out shopping and we can't go and buy our... I think I'm going to pop the birds up this time. We can't run to the store and buy some... Hawkins cheesies. 
I guess we could. Their stores are still open. I just put in a, some pieces of um, what's this? Dimensionals on the birds, so I can pop the birds up instead of having them flat. But I still have to I have to do something with this bow because this is this is not going to win tonight. I am going to win this fight. I am. And if I can't, then it if it doesn't work this time, it's going to become a knot. Okay, it's going to become a knot because it was annoying me. And I can't get it right. So if all else fails, make it a knot. There. Now we'll see if I can get a bow, and if not, this is its last chance to become a bow. Well, maybe the second to the last chance to become a bow. <laughs> Gotta love email cheesies. Those are the diet kind, Holly. It's like the the uh, chocolates I had at my my uh, club stamping last night. When we have in-person stamping, I always have chocolates on the table. Well, when it's virtual, I have chocolates on the table too, but they're the diet version of chocolates. That bow worked. It makes me happy. Okay, and I'm just going to leave the birds there because I have to stamp the sentiment. So I need to find my cardstock. We'll just move that out of the way. And I'm bringing in Evening Evergreen. Just going to scroll up for a sec. And Thinking of You. Do I want to do Thinking of You? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Tell me. Should I do Thinking of You or should I find something else like a Happy Birthday or something funky tell me tell me tell me what have we got oh. no not me okay either i'm you're not answering me or i've stopped seeing the comments again is anybody commenting about what sentiment, happy birthday? Is there a sentiment that is that has a funky edge? Is there a sentiment die that has a funky edge? Mm, don't know what that means, Terry. Okay, how about happy hello? We could do happy hello. We could do your welcome, your welcome, or you be happy, or let's be, let's be happy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what would fit. I'd have to I have to find another this won't this one won't fit those great big long words except for your welcome. I could do your welcome. Okay. Let's find something else in here. Oh, there's a nice one. It says Thanks for making me happy. One of the ones from Love of Leaves. Love of Leaves. Do I have Love of Leaves? I don't know what that one is. Hang on. Hang on. 
stamp index. Love of Leaves, page 115. Love of Leaves. I do not have that one. I do not, Holly. But if you'd like to email it, <laughs> best day ever. That would work. Okay. I need to go get some blocks. Okay. I need to get it, <laughs> apparently. Okay, there's day, there's best, and there's ever. Is that what we want to do? Best day ever? Okay. Start with best. Now, this is going to be tricky. I got to get them lined up. Best. Day ever. Oh, I did it. That excites me and makes me happy. Them on the long block. No, oh, I wanted to. When you do the, when you put them on a long block, it's hard to get them lined up straight. I've I've fought with that in the past, and it's not fun. Oh, and look, it still fits the die. So that's why I did it separately, because then I can, I can put them where I want them. Because you know me and my OCD. It has to be the way I want it, not the way the stamps want to be. Okay, we'll run that through. <laughs> but see through Val, and if you don't line them up, then they become at a jaunty angle, right? We started watching White Fang with the grand grandchildren tonight. Was that ever neat? Oh yeah, I could have I could have done that, Terry. Um, it's neat to see some of the places that we've seen up there in Alaska and the Yukon. Okay, so that's gonna go right there. But I'll put it up on dimensionals as soon as I find them. One, two, three. Okay, it's going to go right there. How's that? And then we'll put one bird sitting on that, on the sentiment like that. We'll just hang his little butt over top of the sentiment. And then we'll put this birdie over here calling them and saying, come home, it's dinner time. And I'm getting the wink of Stella because I want blingy, blingy leaves down there. Okay, let's get the liners off the sentiment. And we'll just put it right there, make sure it's straight. And we'll put this bird on this tree with his butt sitting on the sentiment. I like how when they made this, they made them face to facing each other so that you can have love birds. Isn't that cute? Okay, so the comments stopped again. Holy Aunt Jemima.
I don't know whether there's more comments or not. Let me refresh again. While I add some Wincastella to the leaves, because, you know, Wincastella has to go on every card, almost. There we are. Ooh, that's cute. And look at the bow turned out really nice. I love the way that bow turned out. I like it better than the original one. Who knew? Okay, inside piece. Inside piece. I'm going to put sentiment. Now I have to find the video again. Oh, hello, Carol. See, there was extra comments that I didn't get to see. And Marianne, I missed your comment. So nice to see everybody again tonight. I missed you guys. All right, evening evergreen. And I'm going to, oh, wait. I want to get the soft suede. Because the original one, I did a green tree, and I don't like the green tree. I want it to be a suede tree. Thanks, Holly. I like this tree. For some reason, this tree makes me happy. Maybe it's because it's, um, it's a maple tree, and it's dropped all its leaves, and I'm now done. Um, rake and leaves for the season. Maybe that's why I like it. It just makes my heart happy. I don't know why. I like the fall, I guess. Oh, didn't ink it properly, but that's okay. Thanks, Marianne. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you finally did a comment so that I saw you. Okay. Friendships refresh the soul goes very well with our sentiment on the front saying best day ever. There we go. And put that off to the side. I'm going to do the tree again on the envelope as soon as I find it. There it is. Thanks, Marianne. I'm so glad you guys like this card. I enjoyed making it. It was one of the first ones I made with my pre-order stuff from the new catalog. Then I shipped it off. I had to make 20 of them, I think it was. There we go. That's better. I like the brown tree better than the green tree. Okay, we'll put this inside and if I find my adhesive, there we go. So tomorrow night, eight o'clock is collaboration night. And the good thing is that you don't have to wear your mask tomorrow night because I'll be, I will be Fully vaccinated tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, so we'll pretend we're in person and not having to wear masks. I'm so excited to get my second shot. Because that's one step closer to going north to see the grandchildren. There we go. There's our card. Well... I'm just checking to see what we're doing tomorrow night. The 11th. <gasps> we're playing with Seascape tomorrow night. That'll be fun. Oh, that's okay, Valerie. You'll get it. Thanks, ladies. Thanks so much. The second shots are coming. They're, the government is really happy with 
um, with the way the shots are going and how everybody is. I think it, they said over 80% of the province now has that's eligible to be have their shot has had at least their first shot, which is truly good news. Truly good news. Another need to get bundle. Yep. And I like everything to do with the C2. So Seascape tomorrow night. I don't know what we're doing because it's collaboration. So start thinking about what you want me to do. And when the post shows up in the morning and tells you what we're using, if you um, if you have a color or a set of dyes or something you want me to use with Seascape, let me know because that'll start off what I have to bring to the table. So this is the this is the bundle we're going to use tomorrow night. And then, of course, we can add all sorts of different stuff. This one. Oh, the 27th. Okay, yeah. So you were like, I think you were a week and a bit behind me getting mine. Okay, thanks, Val. I will look for your order. Yes, so Seascape tomorrow night. So let me know in the morning a color or dyes you want me to use with it or um, a technique. You know, we could use, I've got a whole bag. I got a whole bag of this stuff. We could play, we could use one of these as a background. Because, you know, I played with this a lot and I haven't used any of them. I have so many of them. Oh, good, Marlene. Yeah, so I've got all of these. Look at this one. I know I can't use that for fish because it's not background, but isn't that one pretty? I love these. What else is there? Oh, look at that. That would make a really cute undersea, wouldn't it? Oh, but I was going to do that for the club card. Oh, well, I can make two of them. Okay, so thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And I'll see you tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on Zoom or streamed live. And maybe Facebook will play nice tomorrow night. Stampin' smiles and bye for now.